Hello, everyone. My friends, it's me, Mike, the host of Secret Society of Fly Tires. I've been trying to make this episode happen for a long time, and I finally did it. It's about tying flies to fish in the vacation paradise simulation we call Hawaii. I love Hawaii. I'm lucky to say that I've been there three times, and I desperately want to go back. It's one of the main reasons I've been trying to secure some real paid sponsors for this show, but I'm starting to accept that that will probably never happen. You might be surprised to learn that it was pretty difficult to nail down a guest to speak with me about Hawaii. I don't really blame the other folks that I tried to trick into coming on this show. If I lived in Hawaii, the last thing I'd want to do is sit on Zoom for an hour with some weird skeleton-bodied stranger that refers to himself by a bunch of different names. I finally got one, though. Thanks to my friend Pelagos Fly Rods on Instagram, who helped connect me with today's guest, Makani Christensen. Makani was born in Hawaii and is a very busy dude. He has two main operations, Flyfish Hawaii, his saltwater fly fishing guide service, and Kiwi Adventures. That is probably the first of many Hawaiian words that I will butcher in this episode, and I'm sorry. Anyone out there that uh, feels offended by those uh, comments, I just want to say I'm sorry. I apologize. It's great timing, too, because as I write this, it's been cold, gloomy, and damp here in Northern California, and my brain needed a quick taste of tropical paradise to keep me on the level. Hawaii has a bunch of supernatural lore and high strangeness to dig into if that is your thing, and as you know, that is definitely my thing. The first one I'd mention is the Hawaiian myth of the night marchers who are said to be deadly ghosts of ancient tribal Hawaiian warriors. According to the myth, they're suspended in air, their feet do not touch water or ground as they traverse through the night, and they leave no evidence of their visitations. It's also said that if you were to encounter them, you should strip off your clothes and lay face down on the ground. That's what she said. This would be an ideal time to have a dick tattoo that could help you camouflage yourself and distract the night marchers. If you had tattooed your dick to look like a vine or maybe a piece of ginger root, you might have an easier time staying hidden. I should really stop trying to convince you all to get your dicks tattooed. Have you ever heard of Inugami? It's a Japanese dog demon said to be the malevolent spirit of a dog that is used to do its master's bidding for all time, including possessing the feeble-minded. Many say that Hawaii is full of ghosts and otherworldly beings, not just from one culture, but all of the cultures that live together on the island. The Filipinos brought with them the tale of the Aswang, a vampire-like monster that's been spotted in the Iwa Plain and known to terrorize pregnant women. This creature, a shapeshifter, often appears in human form by day and a monster at night. My preferred attire is a Hawaiian shirt, shorts, and flip-flops. I am not exaggerating when I say that I have thought about Hawaii almost every day since the first time I went there. I want to hang with Makani. I want him to teach me his Hawaiian waterman ways. I want to catch a bonefish in paradise and then cap off my day with a tropical beverage and a puka dog. And I hope he doesn't think this show is too dumb to take me out and show me his flats fishing secrets firsthand. 